in the dark days of the Third Crusade, when the flower of all Europe's knighthood, under the command of Richard of England, Richard the Lionhearted, swept over the plains of Acre, the Valley of Zora, on their mission to redeem the Holy Sepulchre, only to be challenged at the very gates of Jerusalem by the living god of the Saracens, Saladin the Magnificent, leader of a thousand desert tribes. But even more dangerous than the Saracen blade was the conspiracy and intrigue that smoldered within the ranks of the Crusaders. The evil ambitions of Richard's own generals to turn a holy cause into an unholy tyranny. Here is a violent chapter of men on a mission that echoes along the corridors of time as each exciting figure lives again. Each tumultuous moment flames again. Saladin, master of the miraculous talisman, that had the power of life and death. Edith, Princess Royal, possessed of the beauty that rules rulers. Richard, whose strength could break any man except one. Kenneth of Huntington, whose loyalty was fused with the courage of a free man's defiance. Why do you so valiantly serve me, an enemy king? I do not serve a king, but a man. This is a pleasant madness. A lunacy with which I would love to be afflicted to the end of my life. Are there really magic carpets in Bokhara? My prayer rug has the powers of Cosima and Zephyr. It could sail you to the wonders of the palace of Saladin. <laughs> Confess your dishonor. The dishonor is yours. You forced me to kill you. 